Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetan Story and today we're gonna review the A5 UX ROM version 8.1 and as you can see that I have the asset mod installed on it so it looks really good and elegant so let me first of all tell you a funny story so I was making a review video right now and suddenly my camera goes out of the live view mode then I realized that I didn't even hit the record button so I'm reviewing this ROM once again so uh, first of all, I would like to say that the ROM's battery life is just amazing. So I will get into the battery life a little bit later. And let's go into settings first of all. So we're gonna go in settings. Uh, and as you can see that the phone is a little bit laggy and slow here and there. That is what you would expect from the J5. It is not that high performing phone over here. So let's go into display settings and let's turn on the blue light filter and the first thing you notice is that it is a little bit weird because it reduces the brightness a little bit and does something to the colors and it does not look like the blue light filter at all that the Samsung provides. So this is a little bit weird here. So let's turn it off and go back and you also have a brightness bar over here in the status bar it is great over here but there is one problem in the other phones you have a menu over here if you press on this button over here uh, brightness menu but it doesn't really work in this so i was telling about the battery life and let's get into it so let's go into the battery over here and it is just amazing and as you can see the estimated battery life is showing as 47 hours and it is really that great but if you don't believe me let's go into the battery usage and as you can see that the battery is still at 94% and the phone was charged 10 hours approximately 11 hours ago 3 minutes to 11 hours so that is really great and I watched a couple of videos on YouTube on this phone so it still is at 94% but I didn't really use this phone like my daily driver I used it to watch a couple of videos only but still the phone is off the charger for 11 hours and still the battery is at 94% so I think that is really great so so let's go into applications now so you have the music applications application from the uh, I guess the S7 Edge or the S8 but I think all the galaxies now come with this music application but it looks really nice so let's go into the camera application and it does not that uh, special here as well so it is a normal camera application from the J5 I guess so you have the pro mode from the J5 as well and some of the filters do not work so like uh, frost and cozy are not working but if you download more filters from the Samsung store they do work so you have your uh, I guess certain button is themed like the S8 I guess so let's go out of this and you also have one application A5 UX AOD control which controls your uh, AOD brightness the always on display brightness and when you change the brightness you have to reboot your device so let's just put the phone on standby and let me show you that the always on display do work and as you can see it is working right that is really nice as well and you can set up your uh, wallpapers over here and as you can see that the phone looks like the S8 because I have installed the S8 mod for the ROM so this looks really elegant and all and if you install this uh, ROM I would definitely recommend installing the S8 mod because it looks really elegant and really nice so you must install it it is really amazing so you also have this uh, Samsung notes application that is unified all the unified applications that came with the note 7 I guess uh, by now you have uh, seen that the phone lags here and there a little bit but it is not that a big deal and this is after I have reduced animation scales to 0.5x like I always do and always recommend doing in your Samsung device and it just gives you an illusion that the device is faster so that is really great as well so you also have the ultra power saving mode or the maximum power saving mode as they call it in the new Samsung so that is really great as well so I need to show you that because it gives great battery life as well so so as you can see it is showing me 167 and 1 minutes remaining let's just assume that it will give me half of the battery life it is showing me so it's about 80 hours so that is really great as well so 
if you are a person who is on the go always that is a great rom for you because it gives really great battery life i think that's it with the short review of this rom and uh, once again the rom looks amazing with the asset mod and has a great battery life so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching guys